intravitreal injection. The ophthalmologist diagnoses the condition that requires intravitreal injection and after proper counseling, the patient visits on the day of the injection. Patients are received by the counselor and the wish band is tied to the side of the eye which is receiving injection for the easy visibility and access. Patients and attendant consent is taken. Patients blood pressure, intraocular pressure and the eye to be injected is marked. Pre-injection checklist comprising patient's identity, use of antibiotics, presence of congestion is marked. Injection seal comprising details of the eye such as side injection details, lens status is stamped and filled. Then the patient is escorted to operation theater. Head cap and shoe cover is worn. After instilling topical anesthetic and topical povidone iodine with the contact time of 2 minutes, eye is cleaned with povidone iodine externally. In the operation theater, 4 C are confirmed. Correct patient, correct eye, correct injection, correct consent. Patient's record is projected on big screen. It is easier for the doctor to re-ensure the details without leaving the sterile zone. Topical anesthetic and topical povidone iodine is instilled in the eye and the eye is cleaned externally as well. The eye is draped. Bladed speculum is applied to cover the lid margin and prevent the eyelashes from entering the injection field. The eye is thoroughly washed with balanced salt solution. Povidone iodine is instilled on a cotton swab and the conjunctiva is retracted in with a cotton swab. Distance from the limbus is measured with the caliper in the inferotemporal quadrant. 3 mm for aphakic patients, 4 mm for phakic patients, 3.5 mm for pseudo phakic patients. With 30 gauze needle with beveled up and the needle pointing towards the optic disc, injection is given. Post injection indirect ophthalmoscopy is done by the doctor to check for the disc perfusion. Speculum and drape is removed and the eye is patched.